guys welcome back to my channel you came back in this week's video what I have for you is the long-awaited perfect cuticle line video I know that I've made a cuticle video before and if you haven't seen it I'll put it in the cards 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 I don't know which side it's gonna be on, but this week what I have for you though is a cuticle line video, how I do my cuticle lines, how I get the perfect cuticle. I don't necessarily think they're always perfect because I mean, who's perfect 100% of the time? So if that is something that you're curious to see, if you wanna see how I do that, go ahead and stick around and let's get into it. Okay, so this is my triple vitamin base. And this is Melanie from Revel. And I've started using this um, to wipe off my nail from a suggestion by Tessa. Thanks. Uh, Nails by Tetta on Instagram. I'll link her down below. Um, she suggested using this. It does help to like make your layers thinner. You have to make sure that your dip is pretty fucking dry before you use it. But anywho, um, here is I put on peel base. This is the second time I've used peel base. I'm still learning how to use peel base so if my nail looks weird because I still have like a little bit of dip on the sides and it's like super shiny and there's like a crack in them whatever okay don't don't judge me I'm learning <laughs> but and I haven't made a video on it yet because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I've made enough videos of I don't know what the fuck I'm doing um so I was trying to learn first before acting like I know. Anyway, uh, yes, how to get a good cuticle. So here's, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do what I do when I dip my nail. Um, first thing I do, I always just make a strip down the middle. Thank you, Melanie, for teaching us all how to build our apex. Um, I do do it a little bit different than the diagram that everybody looks at on Facebook to show you how to build an apex, but, um, yeah, I do a strip down the middle. We're going to let that dry for a second. Dust it off. And usually I just know that if I've gone around that it's time to dust it off. That was pretty close to being too soon. Um, okay, and then we do our second layer. And you see how thin that layer went on when I used the little thingy? awesome and my second layer I kind of bring it out a little bit further onto the side walls and dip and I have my toothpick and I've been trying not to use my toothpick but I did like sharpen the end a little bit um, just so I can like super push my skin against my skin and get like just right in there if I need to. But I've been trying not to use a toothpick because I feel like you can get closer. I feel like a toothpick is a good tool for when you're first starting and you're kind of getting it all over your cuticle because I mean I did that too. So but then after you kind of learn to control your brush a little bit more you can get a closer, get closer to your cuticle if you don't use a toothpick. So, I'm trying to learn to not use a toothpick. Okay. And then for my third dip, I get pretty damn close to my cuticle without going all the way. So, I like to go like there and do you see how I'm pushing back towards my cuticle to get to where it is and I'm kind of oh shit fuck okay let's try that again for me not moving around too much so I kind of try and push back to my cuticle and then pull it out And then wrap it around and get the sidewall. I kind of try and fan my brush out. Get that tip really well. And I have very little, like, you can hardly see at all how much 
Okay, no focus? Focus? No. Okay, I have very little liquid on my brush. Try and fan out and get that sidewall as best I can. And I'm coming down like real close to my cuticle line, but not quite all the way there. Okay, hopefully that didn't drag because I was taking so long. Usually I move much faster, but I'm trying to let everybody see. And usually that would be cleaner. Um, but again, you can take your toothpick right along there if you need to. Though really it's fine. Just the way it is. Let that dry real good. It's kind of thick, but it's not too thick. Watch. It's before I dust it off too. And we have one more dip to do of the color. And then we're going to do a dip of clear. But then you're going to file and you're going to buff. And they're not going to be too thick. And also, I like my nails just like a little bit thicker. Which I know that some people are like, ooh, they're so thin. And yeah, you can do your nails like super thin. Absolutely. If that's what works for you, I think everybody should do what works for them. Me personally, since I've been doing them just a tiny bit thicker, I don't get cracks. I don't break my nails. And so they're a tiny bit thicker. That's okay. It doesn't bother me any. And that's after it's dusted off. It's not too thick. And I feel like the apex is built pretty well. It has a nice little curve right there. Okay, and then we'll do one last one. Let me get the cuticle dusted off real good so you can really see what I'm doing. And this is how you get that good ass cuticle line, guys. I'm gonna fuck it up. Watch. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So... Again, I always put my brush like right here. I try and fan it out a little bit and then I just push back towards my cuticle until I'm almost touching it, just like a hairline away and then pull away. And then again, I push to my cuticle and then I go on my sidewall, get that real well. And I keep having to dip back in my jar because to get more base because I don't really have anything on my brush. Not a lot. I mean, I obviously have something on my brush, but not a lot on my brush. I try and keep it very thin. Very thin layers. And then dip it. I got a little closer to my cuticle than I'd want to a couple of times. But again, that is what our handy dandy toothpick is for. And again, I sharpened the end. So I push down on my skin and run it right there. Did you see how, how fucking close that still looks? If you push on your skin, then you just get right around it. And it looks a little bumped up over here and stuff, but once you get that clear coated or dipped in clear and then activated and then you file and buff, you're not gonna see that little ridge and it's just gonna be a perfect cuticle line. So, I'm going to dip it in clear, I'm going to file in buff, and I will be right back. I should have showed you once I dusted it off what it like actually looks like underneath and how thick it is. See how it's barely even thicker with that next dip. And I had a dip of clear, one dip of clear that I filed buffed, three layers of peel base, and then I dipped, what, four times? It's not even thick. Okay, now I'm going to dip in clear and I'll be back. So what did you guys think of that video? Did you like that video? Do you like these like shorter, like just showing you like one little thing videos? Or do you like the videos more where I do like a whole in-depth mani? Sometimes I think that it's kind of good to just show you just one little thing. If you do like this video, go ahead and give this video a like. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. Sometimes I put out videos on Friday and sometimes I don't. I, I do my best, okay? Most Fridays. I put out videos most Fridays. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Oh shit, I didn't even fucking talk about. So here's, who's here just to find out who won the giveaway? 
Hopefully not. That, that'd be really sad. If you are here to find out who won the giveaway, go ahead and look down in the description. I will put the winner down below. I'm recording this on Tuesday, so I don't know yet who won. So I'm going to put it in the description down below. It'll also be on my Instagram. I'm going to reach out to that person and let them know that they won. So yeah, thank you for participating in the giveaway. And if giveaways are something that you like, let me know and I should maybe do more giveaways because I feel like people really, I don't know, like who doesn't like a giveaway and like give me some free shit. I want some fucking free shit. Got the tea. It's hot, steamy, spiked. Do you guys like my like not having my thing behind me? Cause it's like a new thing I think I'm gonna try where I try less. <laughs> I have so much, you can see it. That's disgusting, that's embarrassing. You can see how much dry shampoo I have in my hair cause my hair is very dirty but I'm going to get it done in my next video. My hair will be different, it's going to be violet. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that to my hair because that's scary, I don't. I don't wanna do something that drastic but I'm going to get my hair done so I'm not like washing it. Like do you wash your hair? Before you go get it done. This is tea. Went on a hike this morning. We left to go on a hike at like 8 a.m. Got done with the hike by like 11.30. Yeah, it was like cold and rainy and wonderful because nobody really was up there until we were leaving and then there was a lot of people there. But anyway, we came back. Dawn, my husband, he was like, oh, do you want some tea? And I was like, yeah, I want some tea, but you better put some whiskey in it. So anyway, please don't make fun of my hair and how much dry shampoo was in it. Like... It's white. It's still white. Ew. I don't know. Maybe you won't be able to see it on camera. I hope not. Anywho.